I bought wool which I didn't mean to buy so I'm making this video before I make the video that I actually want to make to prove that I'm not going to waste wool just because I made a stupid mistake and that was this wool. They were 79p each which I know yes that sounds way too good to be true and I was right. The wool in itself looks really nice, quite posh but the problem is is that it's a lot thinner than I wanted it to be. So, instead of making a jumper, which will be next video, I'm going to make a bouquet of flowers. I know, that's not something I thought I'd be making, but I'm, I am actually was really excited to make this. Because I don't know what it was, I just, I saw them on Pinterest, I'll show you the ones that I saw, and I was like, I need to make this. There's those ones. I really like the lavender, so I'm really excited to try and make that. And the reason I think that this is going to work with these colours is because I bought, for my jumper, because they are my favourite colours basically, just really nice, lots of blues, got some a purple, I love a purple, kind of a pinky purple, sort of a reddy orange, teal, is that what they call it? I don't know, some sort of ocean looking colour, and I bought lots of black, which I'm obviously not going to be using for the flowers, so I'm going to have to come up with another idea to use this wool for, but that's fine. And a green, which I'll be using for the leaves and the stem. So, let's get on with it, before I change my mind and just cry because I spent quite a bit of money on the wrong thing. It wasn't even much, it was cheap, it was fine, it was fine. Let's just, let's just get on with it. To start with, because my favourite colour is purple, well, my favourite colour is actually green, but then it's purple, I am going to make lavender. But look how nice that purple is, it's so nice. So, right, let's make some lavender, let's go. Sometimes I do things and I'm like, what the f- what, why did you do that? You may or may not have noticed that each one of these has a piece of cardboard around the side, and I wanted to get that off so that I can use the purple easily and I can't rip it because it's like quite thick cardboard so I was like oh I'll just cut it yeah who's gonna cut the wool I haven't even done anything and I'm already like at a bad start okay look there's one that's already come off great there's another bit okay we'll just carry on I've cut through two other pieces but I think they're kind of in the middle, so we'll just see. Bad start, bad start. Let's just forget that happened, start fresh. Quite some time has passed and I've been crocheting in my living room with my mum whilst watching The Apprentice. It's not too bad of a show, but it really annoys me how useless they all are no offense but anyway moving on i managed to do two of the lavenders and they look really cool they were pretty simple it took me a little while just to get used to what i was doing but once i got the hang of it easy and do you know what else is also really good like is that i one of these did exactly two of these lavenders and also what i've done is i've went to the garage and i got some gardening twine it's, it's wire but it's really bendy but quite soft and i thought that this would be perfect for the stems be wrap wool around the bottom i think it'll work i've got faith we're going to get onto the next flower i think my plan is to do quite a few flowers and maybe do two of each i think that would look quite nice as like a bouquet maybe two or three of each because you don't want to just have one you don't have one type of flower in a bouquet you always have a few so that's my plan I've just spent the morning crocheting a flower. This is what it looks like. I can't remember what the name of the flower is. No, I, I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. But I think it looks so cool. Oh, look, I'm going to make another one, but I'm going to make it smaller. Because in case you can't tell, I ran out of wool. I was using the light blue wool and then I ran out to do the end. So I just mixed it with a dark blue. And I think it looks really nice, actually. But I'm going to do another one and I'm going to make it smaller so hopefully I can do it all in one colour. I might use this, like bright orange, do a really nice bright colour. <sighs> it 
It's been a few days. I think only two or three. But in those two days, I have made two daisies. I did one with fewer petals. And I did one with more petals. That's what they look like. They're actually really quite cute. They were pretty easy. They're probably the hardest one that I've had to do so far. The problem is, though, is that in case you haven't noticed, is that these are using thick wool, not this wool. But I just thought, you know, you need to have a couple daisies in a bouquet, right? Two or three more of these, because they just seem like quite cool, quite nice filler plants. Do you know what I mean? They're not as impactful as these really cool ones, but they're still nice. But they're also very easy to tell that they're a flower. Let's have a look at what colours I have left. So I've done two of these ones, I don't even know what they're called, I forgot. Two lavenders, but two daisies. I want to do a different coloured daisy. I also don't know how many flowers I should do. I think I'm just going to keep going. I quite like doing the flowers. I also want to use up all of these, so I still need to do at least two, because I have two blues left. Black. I could do a black flower just for fun. Cue the time lapse. Okay, so I finished the daisies, didn't I, Mo? Every time I say daisy, I just think of that advert at the moment. Please tell me that people know what I'm referencing, because otherwise I'm going to seem like a lunatic. I'm going to do an impression of it. They go like this. Daisy, 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 da No, it's not even like that, it's worse than that. Daisy, daisy, oh, I don't know, but it basically does that. And every time I say daisy, it makes me think of it. I did another lavender. I did a light purple lavender. Leaves as well as leaves, a rose, got to make a rose, uh, a lily, and tulip. So two eucalyptuses, I don't know if you say it like that, using this green and this blue, and then just leaves. So yeah, I have a lot planned still, and I'm planning to complete it all today. Well, not complete it, I want to finish all of the flowers today. Ain't that right, Mo? Are we going to make some flowers today? Don't look away from me. He's wearing his Christmas jumper again. Except it's too big for him to keep pulling it up. Don't we, Mo? Gotta keep your clothes on. Stay decent. Update. It is a lot later now. And you probably guessed it. I did not finish all the flowers that I wanted to finish. I was being way too ambitious. Way, way, way too ambitious. What I did manage to do, though, this evening is... The eucalyptus, one in this colour, the teal, and then one in the green. And I know it looks like they're not made. I mean, technically they're not put together, but they, I have crocheted them. So for each one I've done 16 of these in four of four different sizes for each colour. So I did those. A tulip. Here's tulip number one. It looks okay. I mean, it, it's a little bit dodgy. It doesn't really look like a tulip. It looks more like a tulip in real life, I swear. I've just finished another tulip. A smaller tulip. And if you're wondering about the pattern that I use for each of these, the eucalyptus I made up by looking at a photo. For these, I followed a YouTube video of a woman who I think was speaking two different languages. So it was very interesting. I'm going to go to bed now. I am very tired. It's been a busy evening, a long evening, but a good one. Hopefully I can do the lilies and the roses and the leaves soon. Probably not tomorrow because I have rugby, but maybe after rugby. <laughs> I'm either gonna do one big lily using two of these or I'll do two small ones. Haven't decided yet. Exciting stuff. Good night. It's really late again. I'm having to whisper. Sorry about that. But I am so chuffed. I have made petals, red petals for a rose. So I've done six circular squares. 
That's how tired I am. I've done six circles. Now I've made a massive one, which is using navy blue and light blue. So hopefully I'll do two more of those just generic ones. White lily, orange lily and another rose and all the leaves. And hopefully at that point I will be finished. Well, not finished. I have to assemble it all and make it look nice and put it into a bouquet. But apart from that, we'll be fine. I'm enjoying this because I think the reason I'm enjoying this so much is because they're like small little projects. So I can finish maybe one flower in at least an hour, preferably two, two in an hour. That's not bad. But it's kind of, you know, you get that bit of gratification where you're like, oh, this is taking ages. But I've done it and I've got this nice thing that I've made that I can hold and look at and go, yes, that's a flower. And then I make loads of them and then I make it look even cooler at the end. Instead of making something like Jumper, where it takes ages and it looks shit the whole time until you actually put it together. So I think that's why I'm enjoying it. I tried making a lily for ages today. And, well, it took me two attempts. And this is all I've done. And I think it looks really bad. I don't really know what was going wrong, to be honest. Actually, I do know what was going wrong. The videos on YouTube on how to make a lily using crochet, no offence, were not helpful at all. I think I watched three and none of them had talking. They all were just silent videos of them doing it. Actually, they weren't silent. They had that really annoying video. Oh, that was my hip. They all had that, well, one of them had that really annoying backing track that everyone used to use to not get copyrighted. How did it go? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I don't know. But it was doing my head in and I just couldn't, I couldn't follow it. So, so I just started improvising. My camera's about to die. Okay. Um, and I made this leaf. I don't, I don't like it. I might try again tomorrow. But to make up for that, I've been making lots of little leaves that are going to go on my actual stems. So I've done six of these dark green ones so far, and I'm gonna move on to the light green ones. Right, gotta go, camera's about to die, bye. A couple of weeks ago, I made this awful thing. I don't even know what that is. It was meant to be a, it was meant to be a teddy. It just looks awful. So I'm gonna take it apart because I need to use the wool for more leaves. I think I want to do around two leaves per flower. I've so far made 18 flowers, five of which will not need leaves because they're three lavender and two eucalyptuses. And I still want to make three more flowers, so that means I'll make 15, so I want at least 30 leaves. This evening I've done 14, so that's not that bad. I've been getting through them quite quickly. But now I get the satisfying job of taking this bad boy apart. I've just finished doing 32 crochet leaves and I thought I was going to die, but I did it, so I'm very happy. I did 16 light green and then 16 dark green. So I thought that I could do a mixture between light green stems and dark green stems, you know, get some variation in the plants. Yeah, they were really easy to do, and it was quite fun actually. It was my first time ever doing a triple stitch. I think it's a triple stitch. Triple crochet stitch. So yeah, so I learnt a new stitch whilst doing this, so that's fun. Last night I was scrolling through YouTube and trying to find patterns so I can make a decent lily, because this lily leaf will not do. I think it's awful. I don't like it at all. It, this does not look like a leaf that will go on a lily. Not a leaf, a petal. So... Henry Purnell, I think that's how you say his name, has come to save the day. And I really like the pattern, so I'm going to follow that. It doesn't look too hard at all. The lily is back on track, which I'm actually quite pleased with, really. So I just need to undo this and make another one. And I was also thinking of making it, of making two lilies. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself. But I could use this orange. And then I just need to do some little flowers using my leftover wool. And then we can start assembling it, and I'll be really pleased if I can start assembling it today. Oh, 
I have had enough of crochet, I swear to God. I've been doing it for hours today. It's a Saturday. What time is it now? So I said earlier that I said at half three. It's now ten to nine. And all I've done is crochet. I'll show you what I've done. I had a shower, hence this mop. I did a leaf. Fuck, I keep calling them leaves. I did six of these lily petals. I think they're really cool. I love the yellow line down the middle. I just think that's a nice little extra detail. Six of them. And then I did six of the same petal, which is going to be another lily, in the burnt orange. Six of those. And then I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube of flowers that used one colour that I actually liked, other than the lilies that I did. So I'm now going to make lilies, but they're open lilies, using these petals. I did three of these blue ones, two of these teal ones and then I've done five of these magenta ones which is great because it means that I've used up all of the wool and now I'm really happy because it means that we can actually start assembling the flowers which I've been wanting to do for this whole week and it's now Saturday so that's going to be my I was going to say that's going to be my evening but it's currently nine o'clock so it's going to be the end of my evening doing that so can't wait